Hello YouTube family, hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm coming to you with a new tutorial, it's not going to be on illustrating or uh, using vectors or anything like that, instead what we're going to talk about today is capturing color. Now probably one of the biggest questions I get so often is about color. A lot of people ask me on Instagram and even these YouTube uh, video comments, you know, how in the world I go about finding my colors, you know, what is that amazing color palette thing that you see on the side of my Instagram shots and everything. And you'd be surprised how many times I get questions like that. But today I decided to create a video, maybe even two videos, on how you can capture your own color and how you can create your own color libraries. So let's get started. All right, everybody, so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna jump in here. This is probably one of the lesser known tools uh, in Adobe. Uh, it is Adobe Color CC. So what we have here is we have the, the regular like landing page. It's literally color.adobe.com. Now, I'm signed in right now, and if you have an Adobe Creative Cloud account, sign in because you can save uh, your color palettes. So I'm gonna give you guys just like a quick rundown of what we're seeing here. Now, first we have this like uh, cr color create section. Now we have uh, a few different options that we can uh, choose here in the color rule. We have like analogous, we have monochromatic, we have triad, complementary, compound, and shades so and what you can do here is you can actually go through like for instance with the shades I can click and drag and we can select the different colors that we want we can also go in here and type in you know let's say f3568 there we go. And so that just basically, you can go in, let's say if you have a single color uh, that you want to use. Let's say you're working on a freelance uh, project, they have uh, this color is their main brand color, and you need to create a bunch of shades really quickly in order to uh, create some good illustrations uh, for them. So you can go through here, you can add this in uh, here, and it will create all these different shades that you can possibly use. Uh, same thing with like analogous here. We can just like go through and just like click and drag and it creates all these analogous colors that follow the central swatch down here. Now, that's one. That's all, all well and good. There's also, if you don't have time to really go through and be very tedious about things like this, you can go into the explore section which will then have all of these pre-made themes uh, made by Adobe and by uh, individuals like yourself. And so this is where I started. When I first started building my color palettes and everything, I would go on here and I would just save, you know, any type of color palettes that really jumped out to me. So like, for instance, the sunset camping here, what you can do is you can uh, go through, you can get grab the info for it, um, you can appreciate it, you can save it to a library, which is what we'll do here. And you can go in, choose the library you want, which my library is where I keep all my swatches. And then you can just hit save. And now what we'll see later is we'll see that same uh, theme pop up in our libraries. Actually, let me quick jump into Illustrator. And there it is right here on the right here. We have Sunset Camping is already now in our library. So let's jump back. And now let's really show what this thing can do. So we're going to go back to the create up here. And then you'll notice this little icon right here, this little camera icon. That is by far one of my favorite things that I found in Adobe Color. I have no idea when they added it. I don't know if it was originally in there or what, but this is one of my favorites. Because what I can do here is I can go click here. It says create from image, by the way. Um, then I can go and grab a photo. And so, this photo here is from Adobe Max. This is uh, a photo from the sneaks uh, that they had there where they talked about all the new things that were, that could possibly come out and to gauge our, everybody's interest. By the way, Adobe Max was amazing. I'm gonna put out a little video uh, sometime in the future to talk about that. So what we have here is we have five different colors that have been pulled from this image. And we can actually go through and we can rearrange these 
depending on what, uh, what we see here. And we can also go and click and we can go and uh, uh, search for other colors in here. We can actually click and drag this and wherever this picker goes, that's the color we're gonna get. I like this blue here. I think that I want to actually have maybe a nice cyan color here. Um, and I think let's go and try and get a different uh, color. I, there we go. I like this. So this is this is really nice here. We have like a nice little um, swatch area down here that we can then go and mess with. And now, if you're if you're like me and you or excuse me, if you're if you're wanting to finish up right here and be like, okay, this is it. This is all I want to do. Then you can go and click save, and you can save this to uh, your library. But I don't want to do that quite yet. I actually want to go in and I want to manipulate these colors a little bit. And you do that by hitting the create from color wheel here. So now it brings us back to that same uh, page we were looking at before, but we can now edit these colors individually. So let's say, let's go to this dark navy here. Um, it's a little bit on the purple side. I kind of want it to be less purple. I want it to be a little bit more blue. So we're going to mess with these little pieces right here. And you can notice that this area right here is starting to move as I manipulate these. There we go. I'm, I'm liking that a little bit better. Um, now let's go to this cyan color. I want it to be a little bit more cyan. So I'm going to click actually uh, right there, drag these down, make them super light. And there we go. That feels a little bit better. Now we have this like, it's kind of like a flat off yellow. Let's make it a little bit more vibrant. So we're going to click and drag these over and there we go. And now finally, I'm not going to touch this blue over here, but I am going to touch this red. Um, I'm going to click and just keep dragging and make it a little bit more sharper. And there we go. So now from that photo, uh, we created this awesome little color palette. So now we're going to go here, click and save. We're going to change this, let's say Adobe Max Sneaks. Go and choose our album, our library. And then let's say, so this also gives you the option to publish this theme to explore, which is that same area where other people can find these. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll add in the tags here, Adobe, Adobe Max. And let's do retro, retro, whoops, retro video games. And then we're gonna hit save. Okay, so now we go and there's the color themes right here in our library. Both the sunset camp camping that we grabbed from the Explorer and the Adobe sneaks that we grabbed uh, before. And basically, for the most part, a lot of these color palettes are all pulled from things like photos I've taken on my road trip, vacations. Um, I take a lot of inspiration from murals, from uh, you know street art and things like that. Uh, also, old travel posters and things of that nature. Those are always fun to go and bring in here and grab the colors. So this is like a quick and dirty breakdown of how to use Adobe Color to create some pretty awesome color themes. This is basically what I do. Everyone always asks me where in the world I get these amazing color palettes that you see in all my Instagram shots and everything. Well, this is it. This is how I've gotten all these color palettes is just going through and doing things like this. For instance, you can see down here, let me see if I can get my, uh, we have this like pink swatches down here. All of these were that I found this like pink uh, that I really liked. It was this like middle ground pink here. Then I go in and I use that same, um, that same shades that we saw earlier. And I went through and manipulated it a little bit. I decided I didn't want all of them to be pink. I wanted one to be white and everything. And so I went through and I created that. And so all these things here, you can easily create for yourself. Alrighty everybody, I hope you guys had a great time watching this tutorial. I know it was a blast for me to make it, 
And I hope you guys learned something. That's the most important thing here. It's not about whether or not I get the likes, I get the views or anything like that, even though those are all nice too. Uh, it's about whether or not you guys come away learning something. That's the important thing here. That's what the whole reason why I create these videos. So I'm gonna go over a couple of things real quick before we end this video. So don't, don't click, click pause, don't, don't. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> don't click pause, don't uh, exit out of the video. A uh, couple things. Number one, there will be a second video to this. Uh, it will be going over using the Adobe Suite mobile apps to capture color in the wild. Yeah, I'm gonna take you probably through here in San Diego and take some photos of maybe some murals and things like that. But I'll go into more of that in that video. I also wanna give a shout out to my friend. He's doing a cool Kickstarter campaign right now where he's taking eight millimeter uh, film canisters and turning them into these awesome SD card holders. If you're like me, you have probably a couple uh, SD cards that are just like floating around. You probably lose them really easily. Then three months later, you are cleaning up your studio and you find them. It happens to me a lot. Uh, this is like the perfect, cool, retro, vintage type of thing um, to help keep a hold of those. And even, I believe, you can also hold the mini uh, SD cards as well. So check out the link somewhere up above me here or down in the show notes below. Definitely go check him out, support his Kickstarter. He's a great guy and trust me, you're gonna love this product. I might even uh, have it for the next video. So again, thank you all for watching this video. Thank you and I hope you guys learned even just a small little nugget of wisdom from this. But until next time, remember, stay passionate, stay positive and stay creative. All right, everybody. Bye.